second night of that gas outage in Discovery Bay, and more than 1,700 customers are still waiting for a fix as the temperatures continue to fall. Crews have been going door to door all day, but as KCRA 3's Kathy Park shows us, they're facing a big challenge to get everyone back online. We're standing at the Incident Command Center where you'll notice a large group still trying to resolve this issue. Many of the crews have been out since about 7 o'clock this morning, and they say they'll be out until about midnight. We do not often see gas outages of this size. At its peak, 6,200 Discovery Bay customers lost service, Elizabeth Day being one of them. Every half an hour, we were getting updates that it was still out, still out. Meantime, a few doors down, the same situation with her cousin. I just put on some warm clothes and kind of tried to stay inside and keep the doors closed. That way, like, not a lot of cold air got in. PG&E says the problem started around one Sunday morning, prompting crews to act quickly. So they go and they knock on each individual door, and the customer has to be home in order for us to complete the restoration. While waiting for a fix, a wood fireplace came in handy for this family. And I think if we didn't have a fireplace, it, we wouldn't have been as, as understanding, maybe. <laughs> By Monday night, signs of progress, with 200 gas reps in the field who visited 5,700 customers. So we were without gas for a day and a half, maybe. But even now, still more questions about what went wrong. Although we don't know exactly what the cause is, we did take precautionary measures and replace some equipment at a regulator station. Um, but at this time, we're continuing to look into that. Back at the Petersons, a reason to cheer as things are finally back to normal. Normal as of this evening. Yeah, it wasn't that bad. <laughs> Good. <laughs> About 1,000 homes were inaccessible today, meaning no one was home when crews stopped by. PGE will make two attempts before they'll leave this card on the door with additional information. Reporting from Discovery Bay, Kathy Park, KCRA 3 News. Hopefully, pretty soon, yeah. all of the residents will be clapping as the one little one was yeah. doing. Well, PG&E doesn't know when exactly they'll have the gas fully restored, but they do say service representatives will be available.